Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's program introduction webinar for our launching data analytics bootcamp. My name is Jeremy Clopton, uh, director here at Upstream Academy and also the lead facilitator for this program. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you today about our, our program. I get excited anytime I get to talk about analytics, so full disclosure, I uh, am a bit of a nerd in that regard, and I'm okay with that. That's not a bad thing. And what I want to do today, we'll probably spend the next 30, 40 minutes or so uh, laying out uh, a little bit about this program. What I want to do is I want to give you uh, some information about why we're even going to talk about analytics. I'm going to talk to you about benefits of this program in particular, and then we'll lay out the components of this program. So why are we even talking about data analytics? Well, it, first and foremost, when I, when I talk with firms about data analytics, there's a lot of interest still to this day into how analytics will impact our profession. I've even had folks within the last year say, will analytics impact our profession? And is this something we need to be worried about, thinking about figuring out what we're going to do with it over the course of the coming months, coming years? And it's, it's such a loaded question. Uh, yes, analytics is going to have an impact on our profession in the coming months, the coming years, the coming decades. Technology is going to do that. Technology is already having an impact on our profession. So when I answer this question, I've got to tell you the impact on our profession is going to be different for every single firm. For some of you, as you're listening into this, it's going to transform your, uh, your attest practice, your audit practice, your assurance practice. For others, it, it's going to give you a brand new consulting service line. Others are, of you are going to use this to completely overhaul your practice management. Some of you may think, actually, Jeremy, we're going to do all three of those. We, we don't just want to use it for audit. We don't just want to use it for consulting. We don't just want to use it for practice management. We want to use this to completely transform our firm. And that's why I've got to give probably my least favorite answer, and that is when asked about the impact this will have on your firm, the answer is it depends. I can't tell you today exactly the impact that it will have on your firm, but I can tell you analytics, technology, data will impact your firm in a number of different ways, very likely over the coming months, years, and definitely over the, uh, over the coming decade. This quote to me, it is the single most important quote about data as we think about it for the context not only of this program, but really what we're doing in our firms. And that is the data is neutral as the people using it who have an agenda. Manoj Zamarodi, probably one of my all-time favorite podcast hosts, used to host uh, the Note to Self podcast. Now she does uh, ZigZag and is also the host of the TED Radio Hour was talking with uh, an individual about it, and this quote to me embodies everything that we've got to now figure out within our firms, and that is, what is our agenda? We've got so much data. We've got data from our clients. We've got data about our clients. We've got data about our people. It's not going to do anything without us. It's just going to sit there. The data is the data. Now, we can use it so many different ways. That is actually what I view as your biggest challenge and also one of the biggest challenges that we strive to help you overcome. There is so much potential with analytics that you've got to figure out what does it mean for your firm? What does it mean for your firm today? What does it mean for your firm a year from now? What does it mean for your firm maybe five years from now? Solving that challenge, in my experience, and from working with nearly 80 firms that have already gone through this boot camp, that is so much harder than finding someone with technical expertise to actually perform the work. Finding someone that can perform analytics is relatively simple compared to figuring out what analytics means for your firm. As I mentioned, we've worked with nearly 80 firms going through this program to help them figure this out. For some, it meant practice management. For some, it was just the audit. For some, it was a brand new service line. For others, it was used, being used to enhance an existing service line, very often client accounting services. And for others, it was a combination of all of these things. It was the tax practice even. I, I can tell you this, you don't want to overwhelm clients with more data. You don't want to overwhelm your people with more data. You don't want to overwhelm your partners with more data. You've got to figure out how can you be intentional. This entire program 
is built around the premise that you've got to figure out what problems you're going to solve using analytics first. It's not about what software you're going to use. It's not about big data, small data, little data, medium data. Not about that. It's all about what client problems can you solve using analytics. Because when you can start to solve new problems for your clients, solve existing problems better for your clients, now all of a sudden you can strengthen those relationships with your clients. I was talking with a firm here recently, and you can do that internally as well. Your partners become your clients. How do you strengthen the relationships with your partners by overall transforming your practice management through the use of analytics? Why else are we talking about analytics? Well, we're talking about this because the business model and the team for an analytics service and the ability to effectively leverage analytics in your firm is going to look a lot different than the business model and the team that you've used for historically compliance-based service lines, audit, tax, even consulting. So many of these service lines look like the traditional accounting firm business model. Billable hours, realization, focused on utilization. We've got accountants. We've got people that are, are finance. They're, they're accounting adjacent. But when we think about analytics as a service, analytics as a service line, analytics within the organization, now all of a sudden we're talking about new types of team members, new types of business models, because if we're using technology effectively, we don't want to charge by the hour because the hours should be minimal. We should have high leverage. What that does is it provides us an opportunity to now introduce new perspectives, new ways to solve old problems, and new ways to start thinking about what a business model might look like in our firms. Analytics can help be the catalyst for this change. And with proper planning and intentionality, this can also be an annuity model. As I think about one of the biggest challenges in sometimes advisory services, consulting services, which is where my background is, is in consulting services, specifically forensics and data analytics, digital forensics, it is so hard to find an annuity model. My background was in forensics, so I did a lot of fraud investigations, fraud prevention. For starters, companies didn't want to see me more than once. And secondarily, I didn't really want to have to go back and see the same company over and over and over again because if I did that as an investigator, we had problems, and they had big problems. But as I started to pivot this, this analytics from investigation, which is reactive, to prevention, which is proactive, now we started thinking about how do we think about this as an annuity model. When we start to position it as solving problems, improving decision making, now all of a sudden we have the potential to drive revenue growth and take some of our traditionally consultative services that were maybe one-time projects and build them into ongoing advisory services. Highly leveraged annuity-based services. That's what data analytics can do as a service line. So what are some of the other benefits? And I'll tell you, I'm focused right now on this analytics service line. And I need to clarify, the boot camp itself, and I'll talk more about this in a moment, but the boot camp itself isn't predicated on the fact that you're going to start a brand new service line. You can use analytics in an existing service line. You can do it to enhance a service line. You can do it in the audit practice. You can do it practice management. I focus on using analytics as a service line because I want to figure out how can we drive additional revenue and this very first bullet on this slide right now, how can we drive organic growth within your firms? To me, that is the number one benefit of an analytic service line is organic growth because it's now a new service that you can offer to all of your existing clients, which means you've got organic growth opportunities. New services, ex existing clients, that is the very definition of organic growth. What else can it do? It can help position you in the market. It can differentiate your firm in the market. You can develop brand new rewarding career opportunities. If you look at your, your, your employee base in your firm and you look at how many individuals you have that are passionate about technology. I was talking with a firm yesterday and I said, we got this young kid really passionate about technology, can't figure out what to do. This is what you do 
with those individuals that are passionate about technology and solving problems in new ways. This is a new rewarding career opportunity. One of the very first firms that attended our data analytics boot camps, they sent to the boot camp, it was an in-person boot camp back when those were more of a thing. I sent the managing partner, a partner, and then a gentleman that had two to three years of experience at that point, real young in his career. It was June of 2019. I talked to the managing partner of that firm earlier this year, and she said he is now the most sought-after individual in their firm. They took someone with a passion for technology and created a rewarding career opportunity that is now going to create rewarding career opportunities for others in the firm as well. It helps improve client operations. It improves their outcomes. It can improve your practice management efforts. It can improve your audit practice, efficiency, and effectiveness, and it can also help you practice proactive disruption using technology rather than being forced to change once that happens. It allows you to try new things, experiment with new technology, and get out ahead of it. So what are some of the benefits of our program? That's why we're talking data analytics. What are the benefits of this program in particular? Well, first and foremost, most programs, roundtables, conference sessions discuss analytics at a theoretical level, or they get so granular that that specific application only applies to a few individuals that are attending that session. Very few of these sessions, programs, roundtables actually address how to put analytics into practice within your firm. How do I know that? First and foremost, I spent 12 years with a, with a firm, top 15 firm. I ran the data analytics practice at that firm, helped to launch that firm. I have given many of these programs, roundtables, and conference sessions. I've attended many of those sessions. They are designed that way intentionally. When I joined Upstream, one of the things that we talked about is how do we go past the theoretical because upstream has always been a proponent of exploring new ways to serve clients and upstream has also got a history of being one of the best at developing processes so what we decided to do is how do we take this analytics knowledge combine it with the the expertise in developing processes to create a program that walks you step by step through the launch of a new service line, a very specific service line in this case, launching a data analytics service line. That's what this program, that's what this boot camp does. The launching data analytics boot camp itself provides you the knowledge, the framework, and the strategy that you need to successfully put analytics into practice, to put data into practice to create a new analytics consulting service line, implement it in your practice management, or a combination of those two. Even put it in just to, the, just to the audit side if that's what you're looking to do. But what it does is it walks you through this step by step. It's a process. It is not theory. It is not a how-to guide on technology. It is a process for launching a new analytics service line within your firm. So let me spend about the next 10, 15 minutes talking to you about the individual components of this program. All right, so I'm going to start with the instructors because I think that's important. First and foremost, I'm the lead instructor. I, I help to build and then launch and then lead a data analytics practice at a national accounting firm. Uh, when I left that firm, I'd been there for just over 12 years. Uh, I was leading the big data and analytics practice as well as the digital forensics practice. I, I've spoken internationally. On this topic, I'm an Association of Certified Fraud Examiners faculty member. I focus in the analytics space there. I speak at IIA groups, ACFE groups about the power of analytics, how to be transformative with analytics. The most important experience that I have that I want to share with everyone that attends this boot camp is the fact that it took me way longer to launch a service line than it ever should have. I'll share the story in detail actually within the program, but when I first approached the managing partner of our practice and said, hey, I want to start an analytics practice, she said, great, make the business case, we'll make it happen. We'll give you the resources, we'll support you. It took me over, over six years to figure out that exact business case, and it goes back to that quote that I shared with you. It's the data is neutral, it's people using it to have an agenda. My agenda was not near specific enough. I had way too many ideas. 
way too many opportunities. What I've learned from that is what it takes to build and launch a successful analytics practice. What it takes to reach your clients, what it takes to reach the partners within the firm. That's what I bring. I also bring with me another instructor, Heath Alloway. He joined us at Upstream just over a year ago, and he has led new service line launches and firm-wide initiatives for a national accounting firm as well. He's a resource and a speaker at the local and national level on growth and innovation. He helps us focus in even more specifically on the marketing and the business development side of this, the growth side of this. He brings a process to the table that helps us be better business developers, better marketers for a brand new service line. And that's a challenge because with a brand new service line, you don't have decades of projects to, to fall back on like we do with our existing service lines. Heath brings us new innovative ways and ideas to help launch a new service in that way. As we think about uh, our, our objective for you, this is not something, this is not a program that I want you to attend passively. I don't want you to just sit back, listen to five days worth of lecture, and it's not a five full days. We'll talk about that in a minute. I don't want you to just sit back, listen to the lecture, and say, okay, I've got it. Good to go. We're going to put you to work. Our goal is that when you complete this program, you not only have the plan and the steps, that you have that to launch a successful analytic service line, you've also got now the clarity around how to do it. You've got to create this plan. We give you a framework. We walk you through what we would recommend go into your plan. You have to create the plan with our guidance. We're going to pull you up this mountain. We're going to help you overcome the hurdles of creating this plan and the steps that you need. But you're going to have to do the hard work to actually do this. In achieving this goal, here's what we want to help you do. We want you to understand what is required to successfully launch an analytic service line. What are you going to need? So we're going to talk about the types of team members you're going to need. We're going to talk about the types of technology you might need. We'll talk a little bit about uh, engagement letter language. We'll talk about liability. We'll talk about setting expectations. But we're also going to talk about the clients that you need to focus on. We're going to talk about what's required for you to get yeah, that first project under your belt and then the next three or four or five projects after that. We're going to help you develop a plan to not only create, but also to then grow your analytic service line. And then we'll give you the steps necessary to execute on that plan and launch that successfully. This entire boot camp is active participation. We will be working with you every single day to help accomplish each of these objectives. Who are we going to be working with? We encourage you to bring your launch team to this program. That's the group of individuals that you have tasked to actually build and lead this service line. Let me give you a little bit more on that. Who should be on your launch team? It should be the individual that is going to be held responsible to the partner group for the success or lack thereof of this new service line. Who is ultimately being held responsible? They need to be in the room. Who's going to be leading the service line? In many firms, that's a different person. It may not be the executive sponsor that's ultimately responsible. There may be somebody at the manager, senior manager, director level, maybe a senior or a supervisor, that is actually going to be leading this service line. You may have somebody that's a technical expert that's got all kinds of ideas and understands analytics better than others and understands the application of technology better than others. They probably need to be on your launch team. When it comes to the marketing and business development discussions, you may want to have a marketing leader within the firm on your launch team for those days. And here's something I was talking with a firm about two weeks ago um, and earlier this week even about this. And they've got a few different use cases within their firm. They're going to be joining us in June. They've got a few different use cases. They're looking to transform the audit practice, but they're also looking to transform the advisory practice. 
They're also looking to figure out, can we apply this internally with practice management? In that case, they may actually have three launch teams. And what we can do is we can help each of those launch teams work individually, but also then collaboratively to get the clarity that they need to be successful. So your launch team is going to depend on your use case. But I would encourage you, bring the people that you think need to be brought to the table. Here's the great thing. This is a virtual boot camp. This is one of our first program. It was the last program that I actually did in person was, was one of these boot camps. It was also one of the first that we did in a virtual environment. And I've got to say, the transition to virtual has been absolutely spectacular because it allows you to bring all of the necessary people to the table without trying to figure out, can I really afford to travel that many people to some location? So this next boot camp is going to take place in June, the 21st through the 25th. It is virtual. It'll take place on Zoom. The cost is $5,000 for the firm. If you're a UAN member, you do get a discount. If you're a UAN Tier 3 member, this is a program that is eligible for your upstream credit. Reach out to me, Heath Alloway, Georgia, Kelsey. Reach out to any of us if you've got questions on exactly what that is. But this boot camp being virtual means that your launch team can be bigger than it may have been in person. It's one of the benefits that I really like about this is you can bring the necessary people to the table. I've seen more firms since we've gone virtual uh, than, than I expected, actually. I've even been bringing the managing partner to at least day one to try to get everybody on the same page. If you've got questions as to who should be on your launch team, reach out to me directly. I, I will happily have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and help you select your launch team where it makes sense. What does the launch team get? They're going to get access to our Launching Data Analytics one-on-one -on -one online tutorial. They're going to get the preparation workbook. They're going to get five days uh, of our two-hour sessions that are the boot camp. They also get five days of office hours for specific questions and consultation. I'll talk about each of those here in just a bit more detail. The other thing that you're going to get is you're going to get access to me and Heath. And when you've got questions, I've still got firms that went through this program two years ago that reach out from time to time and say, hey, Jeremy, I got a quick question. I will always be happy to answer your questions. I still answer questions to this day, whether it, it, sometimes it's project specific, sometimes it's recruiting based, sometimes it's next level of growing, but you've got access now to a resource that is always willing to help you. So let's talk about each of these components that are listed here on the slide. The Launching Data Analytics 101 tutorial. We've put together for you an online tutorial, it's a video that will help you gather the information that you need for a successful boot camp, which means you're going to have to start thinking through what does analytics mean for your firm. We'll give you some guidance in that. What are going to be your areas of focus? Will it be assurance? Will it be advisory? Will it be practice management? We're going to help you start to identify client needs, who your competitors might be, your firm's differentiators, and help you select a launch team through this program, through this tutorial. Along with that tutorial, you will get a boot camp preparation workbook. These materials are designed to help you assemble all of the information together and complete the base level of planning. You don't have to solve all of the analytics problems in this workbook. I do need you to understand that the workbook is designed for your benefit, not mine. So one of the exercises may be, and it is in there, it's not a maybe, but one of the exercises is what are your areas, what are your industries of focus where your best clients are? I encourage you not to put look on our website for a list of our industries. I actually encourage you to go through and answer that with as much detail as possible. I will ask you to submit this workbook to me in advance of the boot camp so I can understand where each and every firm that's attending is at in their journey so that we can help you as specifically as possible. But that workbook is for your benefit. For those of you that have been thinking about this, this workbook might be really easy for you to complete. For those of you that are very brand new to the idea of analytics but you want to get a jump start, it might take you 10 to 15 hours to complete it. I wouldn't imagine that it'll take longer than 15 hours. The key here is that you're giving intentional thought and effort to getting everything accumulated and assembled that you're going to need to be successful once the boot camp itself actually starts. Once that occurs, June 21st through 25th, each of those days we will meet for two hours, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central. 
The launch team will meet for two hours a day for five days. We meet Monday through Friday that entire week. What we're going to do is we're going to walk it through, and I'll give you the agenda here in a minute. Everything from defining the service to mapping out your next 180 days and everything in between. We will start with what is analytics, and we will end with here's what your next 180 days looks like. There's a lot of work that goes on in those 10 hours. A lot of information, a lot of planning, a lot of reflection that you'll be doing after that fact. But you're not alone after these two hours each day. So we do those from 10 to noon central. Every afternoon from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock central, we hold open office hours. The office hours, what we do is we give every firm that is attending their own breakout room. I've got a firm that's going to be attending in June. They've got three teams. We're actually going to do uh, breakout rooms for each of their teams and then one for the firm to collaborate in as a whole. We're committed to making this as successful, as successful for you as possible. But within each of those breakout rooms, you'll be able to meet with Heath and I, Heath or I, however you want, one-on-one -on -one with your firm, with us, to walk through your specific questions. We provide you the platform to, to facilitate collaboration so that you can actually work through. We give you a workbook as part of the boot camp. We give you a, a plan resource that you'll be filling out. You're going to be working hard on that throughout the entire five days. I had somebody reach out uh, earlier this week and ask, how, how much time should I, should I expect? I would anticipate that each of your launch team members that are attending the boot camp should plan for three to four hours of effort every single day. You're going to have two hours of instruction and then at least one or two hours in the afternoon working on this. I will tell you this, the firms that spend the most time in those breakout rooms with intentional focused effort working on the plan are the ones that get the most out of it, rather than those that say we're going to listen in the morning, we'll work on the plan next week. I would encourage you, please don't take that approach. Set aside a couple hours in the morning for the instruction, a couple hours in the afternoon for the collaboration so that you can take advantage of having access to both Heath and I during the entire course of that week to help make you as successful as possible. That's what we encourage you to do there. So what do each of the days look like? We're going to start defining the service line. We start with beginning with the end in mind. We've got to figure out if you don't know what you're building, you can't go build it. That's why it took me so long to build a service line is I didn't know exactly what I was looking to build. So it took me a really long time to build it. So we're going to begin with the end in mind. By the end of the first day, you will know exactly what your services are that you're going to take to market at the launch of your analytic service line. If it's an internal application, you will know the three to five key problems that you're going to be solving by the end of day one. By the end of day two, we're going to know how you're going to make money. We're going to talk about pricing models. We're going to talk about differentiators. We're going to talk about communicating differentiators in the market. We're going to talk value pricing, tiered pricing. We're going to get away from billable hours. We're going to get away from realization, and we're going to figure out how are you going to make money while you sleep. That's what we're going to focus on on day two. So by the end of the first two days, you're already going to know what you're going to offer, who you're going to offer it to, why, they, why your clients and your pre-clients should choose you and how you're going to price it and ultimately make money. As you can tell, that's a lot of work in the first two days. It's a lot of work in the first two days. Days three and four don't necessarily get easier. Day three, we're going to talk about recruiting team members and internal advocates, which means I'm going to walk you through how exactly do you build the right team for analytic service Heath is going to then walk us through and walk you through how do you now go sell it internally so that you're recruiting advocates on the inside of the firm that go help you take this to clients and pre-clients, which is a, a, the term that we use for prospects. How do you communicate the value that this adds for the firm? Day four, all about business development. How do you build a successful client base, customer base? Who are your first clients? Who are your next clients? Who are your best pre-clients? You will have names of clients by the end of day four that you will be offering these new services to. You will have meetings that you will start to schedule by day five. And on day five, we put it all together. What are the key processes that you're going to need to know? We'll talk engagement letters, technology, 
uh, in, or outsourcing versus in-house IT. Uh, we'll talk software solutions. As you can tell, we haven't talked a lot of technology just yet. We will a little bit in days one and two because you'll need to know what, how you're going to deliver your, your solutions. But we'll really talk technology on day five. We'll talk about how do you manage change, which is exactly what you're going to be doing when you launch a new service line. It's significant change within your firm. And then we'll wrap up uh, the entire boot camp with sharing golden nuggets, which are the key takeaways that each of you has over the course of those five days. Here's the awesome part about this boot camp. Not only do you work on your plan, but each day we will start off by hearing from everyone else that's in the boot camp as well. What progress are they making? You're going to start to develop a network of peers that you can use as resources to make your analytic service line as successful as possible. You'll become resources for one another. We'll share resources with you. We'll share a book list with you, classes with you, training opportunities with you. It is a jam-packed week. It's a busy week. I've had some say it's an exhausting week, but it's a week that you will spend working on the business of the firm rather than doing work for your clients. That's why I need you to set aside three to four hours each of these days to focus in on this. If you really think about it, four hours a day for five days, it's 20 hours. That's a 1%, less than 1% of your entire year that I'm asking you to set aside to focus in on building something brand new and transformational for your firm. It's a great, effective, focused use of that time. If you want to email me directly with questions, if you want to set up a time for us to talk, you're welcome to email me directly, uh, and I will send you back a link uh, to my calendar uh, so you can book a time uh, with me to talk as soon as you would like to do so. But what questions do you have now that I can help you answer? All right, the first question that has come in is, do I need to send an IT person to this boot camp? And the answer there is no. Uh, you do not have to have an IT professional in this boot camp. Uh, you don't have to have uh, you know, someone with a computer science degree at all in this boot camp. In fact, uh, my background, I have an accounting background, and um, I don't have a computer science degree. Uh, I fell in love with analytics and technology through the use and through the lens of Excel and built from there. So accountants are welcome. We don't have to have uh, IT people by any stretch of the imagination. You're welcome to send someone that's IT slanted if you would like. Uh, what do you do if you cannot attend one of the days? If you have an individual that can't attend one of the days, uh, you know the rest of the launch team should attend. And that launch team, they'll be able to help fill them in um, on that information. Um, if uh, the entire team won't be able to attend one of the days, please reach out to me directly. Uh, if it is a single day, uh, we might be able to figure something out, and I'd be happy to, uh, happy to talk to you about that one-on-one -on -one, uh, if the entire team can't attend. But let's, uh, let's talk about that individually. Uh, appreciate the next question. I unfortunately won't be able to attend the boot camp June 21st to the 25th, the next offering. Uh, we don't have another offering on the calendar just yet. Uh, historically, we have done one in the summer and then one in the fall. Uh, if there is, you know, if there are firms that are interested in that, uh, the other option is we do offer this as a uh, custom uh, program for firms one on one. Uh, where we can focus on just analytics, or we can even uh, open it up if you have other service lines that you're looking at. Uh, we have a launching new services uh, program that we do one-on-one -on -one for firms uh, that allow you to not only look to launch an analytics boot camp, but others at the same time. Uh, so reach out to me if you would. If you have an interest in that, I'd be happy to talk to you more about that. But right now, the only open enrollment boot camp that we have on the calendar is June 21st through the 25th. Again, if it's uh, the entire week, that's a problem. I understand if it's a single day, reach out. We might be able to make something work in that regard. All right, I don't see that there are a whole lot of other questions that have come in. As I mentioned, we've had almost 80 firms that have gone through this boot camp. I look forward. I know we've got a handful already signed up for June. I appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to attend uh, this program introduction webinar. Reach out with questions. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.